What's up? Hey. How's it going? It's going good enough. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome back. If you're new, my name is Jess, and this is... Reese. This is Reese. And today we're going to do does Reese... Pablo. <laughs> what? It should be Pablo. Your name should be Pablo? What, what was the name we used to use? Alejandro. Alejandro. Yeah, Alejandro. <laughs> um, if you guys have never seen this before, we are recovering addicts. I served some time in prison. We served some hard time in the county jail. Um, so today is just going to be like a really fun, extremely pointless video. Does Reese know prison slang? Probably not, but we're going to take a stab. Do you think you know some of them? I might. I might get lucky. I might be, I might be cool you're like smart. on, on like the you, street. Yeah. Yeah, you're not. You look like a police officer. <laughs> okay, so if you want to see, does my boyfriend know prison slang? Just keep on watching. I wrote a lot of stuff down. Oh, before we get started, I did ask you guys on Instagram and end of sentence or 1090 Jake. Thank you so much for helping me out. He sent us a ton of suggestions. Too. Oh, okay. So, what's cool. up, bro? Thanks for being part of my embarrassment. <laughs> part of my embarrassment. Okay, we'll start with an easy one. Okay. Chow call. It's easy in military. It's time to eat. Chow call. But it's always like chow call. Like they yell. I like do the that. same thing in the military. In the military, yeah. chow call. You just kind of follow the line if you want to eat. Yeah. Okay, so good. We're yeah. one for one. All right. Good job. Cool. The box. It already sounds dirty. <laughs> it does. <sighs> I mean, you're either kind of like, you know, you're, a you're, hair you're, day. you're putting it in the box or you are in the oh box. Oh my God. Um, you know, I think on the street, the homies put it in the box. <laughs> I think I think in the, in the up in the up in the cell it means you're in the in, in the hole you're in the <gasps> yes okay yeah it's All segregation right. segregation dude okay. cool. we are two and oh how do you know that did you watch lockup before this I, I was well I was well briefed oh, you cheated yeah. you cheated did you get access to my Instagram no okay okay this is jank janky jank I mean okay. it's kind of like a Kind of like it's a piece of shit. Like this is my janky ride. Kind of. Or, yeah, okay, so it could be like, this is janky, like this is nasty, this is ghetto, this is hood. Or it could just be yeah. this notebook jank, like this thing. Oh. So yeah, it could mean like It, it, it could be, it's, it's, it's an adjective or a noun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It depends, you know, it could All be right. like this, this soda jank. Okay. Three and O. Oh. Okay. I feel like you cheated. Hmm. He steps back and takes this net. <laughs> Jordan Knight's back. Yeah. Okay, stick and poke. <laughs> Sorry, this, this is what happens to you when you're when you're in intake and they're trying to find out if you have anything hidden? No. I I just really got some that's just super dirty. Um Ooh. Dirty. You know. Later we're gonna stick and poke. <laughs> <laughs> no, not if you lose. Ah. Uh, I only date criminals, sorry. I don't know. If I mean if you get poked in a stick, like, you know, with a stick in a cage. I, what? I have no idea. I'm fucking... um, stick and poke is a form of tattooing. Okay. So. Okay, that makes sense now. Yeah, they'll right. make ink and like do like little, like it takes forever. But a lot of, um, a lot of Jason's tattoos are stick and poke. Okay. They took forever. Yeah, okay. Yep. What's a stud? You're looking at one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yes sir. I am. Um, it's like a stud broad, right? So it's kind of like it's like a, a, a girl that wants to be a dude so she can get with other girls. She doesn't want to be a dude, but she's like a really handsome girl. She's really polished up. She's, Shaved head, yeah. usually okay. muscular. Yeah, yeah, I think I've had a couple girlfriends like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> this just got weird. Is there something you need to tell me? <laughs> All right. What's he next? did have a girlfriend that was, you know, rolling the ball and shaved her head, though. That happened. Yeah, she kind of got on one, and that hair, you know, I guess she thought she was a stylist we or something. We messed with her hair when we're on Yeah, this. and then she just kept cutting it shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter, and then like after like being on one for a few days, I was like, there's nothing left to cut there. So, congratulations. Slim Shady. Yeah. Good job. Word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think she did die. Die blonde. blonde. Yeah, she did. Yeah. We saw her. Yeah, because you know the same person. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Ninja Turtles. Hey man, everybody loved the Ninja Turtles, right? <laughs> no, you don't love these Ninja Turtles. <laughs> no, no. Nope. It's it's the Ninja Turtles, like you know Donatello. No. And the Alec Pizza and the the Shredder, you know. Eh, no. no. 
it's like when they come in with their their SWAT team. Oh, here. oh, I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah. watching like like Locked Up or something. Yeah, the yeah, Ninja you don't yeah. like the Ninja Turtles. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. kinda. I guess, I guess so. That means they're gonna come extract you from the cell, get throw tear gas at you. It's not a good moment. Who was your favorite Ninja Turtle? Michelangelo. Why? I have no idea. I just said Michelangelo. Just had to pick one. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. I like I like the rat. What was the rat's name? Splinter. Splinter. Yeah. He's the bad guy. The Shredder was the bad guy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Splinter was the rat. You know. Oh. The wise one. The wise rat. Yeah. Such Nobody a saw him coming. Video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What else do we have? All right. Pickle suit. Does this all sound dirty? Does this all sound dirty? Put on my pickle suit tonight when we hold hands. <laughs> you know? No. <laughs> I don't know what to talk. Pickle um, suit. Is it the, okay, I think I know this one. The because... answer's not on the ceiling. <laughs> you see right, right up there. <laughs> My notes. Um, is it the, like you're gonna commit suicide and they put you yeah. in, in, the, in, the, in the, the matted, like pick, like the, the pick of the suit, it looks like it's kind of stripes. Yeah, well there's no stripes on it, it's green. Yeah, it's kind of like padded it's or whatever. Velcro. Yeah, I saw a couple of really sad folks in the county yes. have to wear those in the holding cells, yeah. Yeah, you're right, pickle yeah. suit. Um, there's always like suit. there's always the people that want to like slam their head against the wall or something, you know, like they thought like attention was. I was like, oh, now you're gonna have to wear that naked suit now. That sometimes really they do that because it, it's like a release of stress. You know what I mean? Sometimes that people just do that. I've seen people bite themselves as a form of uh, release of stress, and I'm just like, mm, please stop doing that. Oh, but you know when you see somebody like in the the, the nasty matted Blood, suit, like, like and they they're naked. I mean, yeah. who? I mean, it's bad enough with the other stuff you got on. Like, why do you want to wear? You know the padded suit in the padded room like i would just keep my feelings to myself but i mean i don't know i can't relate you know being up in the county for a few weeks eating sandwiches was hard enough time for me so so really what has happened is prisons have become mental hospitals so over half of all incarcerated people right yeah. now have some form some form of mental illness and the jails and the prisons are not designed or equipped to handle suitcase we're going on a trip gotta bring my suitcase um purse Oh, <laughs> I know what this is. Is this, is this men your... call it suitcase? Women call it purse. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it, is it your purse? <laughs> <laughs> so men call it suitcase, which means they put things up their butt. Oh man! And I, women I call it their purse. That makes sense now, but I wouldn't have immediately known that if somebody had been like, "Yo, put this in your suitcase, bro," I'd have been like, uh, <laughs> "I don't have a suitcase. I don't have a suitcase. I'm not at my I'm not at my office." Yes, you do. Have a I suitcase. guess I do have a suitcase now. <laughs> I'll remember that next time I'm about to get pulled over. Oh God! If you, oh first of oh all, oh! I gotta tell you, since you want to talk about the suitcase, I got a good story for you. Um, well, I guess take it, a turn. Yeah, tell me. sideways in this video. Tell me. Um, yeah, I, I've seen somebody go for the suitcase. All right. Um, remember, I told you the story about the first arrest I got when I was filling those fake prescriptions, and the guy that had like the format and like all the like the the with the with the like I said, the the font and everything mm -hmm. to, to to jump into the, the laptop and they were printing them off on like laser disc printers on, on hologram papers they were yeah. legit i mean it was a, it was a full scale operation big time and um, he had all that stuff like on a usb and we, i he had come with me to fill like a script or whatever and he like i guess a cop got behind us or something like oh no batman yeah yeah and he was freaking out and he had that usb on him and i he was like oh god and he just he went for it and i was like whoa what are you doing bro like he, he just pulled out like i mean i wasn't nervous at all you know i mean this is i wasn't very deep into the underworld i was you know i don't think the cops on location would care about a usb drive they're looking for drugs yeah so. i mean he he went for it man he i mean like he, he was, didn't want to give up his connect yeah he was up in there yeah and that, that usb device had all the the, the formatting the, the the spacing the font like it had it was the digital outline for filling those scripts when we printed them off on the, on the hologram paper like so oh my god he, I guess he, he went just, for it yeah i remember like i, was, I thought that was so weird because he was he was up in there you know he was i was like bro that's not that important it just got it? really yeah. weird <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay, fishing. <sighs> going fishing today. All right, this is kind of easy because we've seen the lockup stories, oh, and they, they, throw, they throw the line. You know, they're they're grabbing stuff from cell to cell. Mm -hmm. I thought the the best part though was the curious one that were, when they were talking in the bowl, when they would fish through the bowl, when they would yeah. flush it and then pull it up. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I guess if you want like poo poo on your stuff, I mean, you know, but they were pulling up all kinds of stuff. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So in order to do that, you have to be on a in a jail that has one floor, another floor, another floor to do that through the toilets. Um, I've never personally done that. We do fishing 
cell to cell, tier to tier. So you can actually have a line that goes not only from my cell, but from your cell that's two tiers down and four cells over. Like it's crazy. People are skilled. I've never done talking on the it bowl. It is. That was, that was pretty. I met Reese on the bowl. <laughs> I got that kind of game, guys. Oh my God. I do. But like the bacteria of that, like it gets oh, on your man. face. Like, no, thank you. It's a hard pass for me. Yeah, it's a hard no for sure. Okay. Your jacket. Yeah, you're cold. You gotta wear your jacket. <laughs> no. You're going out to the. You're going out to Chow after you got done fishing, and you need your jacket, right? No. Um, Get your suitcase and your yeah. jacket. <laughs> okay. Every I'm, inmate has a jacket. Okay. Is it? All right. I, I can kind of put two together. It's it's your folder. It's your file. Right? Yeah. It's your your paperwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the. I, I can kind of cheat because you know, like on the, on the you're smart. Because I'm smart, like, and I watched a few cop movies, whatever. And they're like, oh, the jacket on this guy. So okay, I get that. Yeah, the yeah, jacket. yeah, yeah. Jacket. So it goes with you to every facility that you go yeah. to. It says if you're a gang member, or if you're not, it, what your charges are. Well, you know, it's kind of like the burn book for Mean Girls. What if somebody puts so something, burn. puts something in your jacket that isn't legit? What if somebody puts like you don't have your jacket? You know? usually. I mean, you you'll have your papers with your charges. I'm saying, but what if like somebody in, in the prison system puts down like some something in your jacket and it's not it's real? Not not like the burn book, but all of your disciplinaries are there as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> your jacket is usually accurate. It's not like the burn book where the cops can be like, I hate this bitch. Like, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Pruno. Well, that's kind of easy. That's on the locked up too. That's the, it's the alcohol. It's Damn the it. Juice. Stop yeah. watching lock up. You're cheating. Yeah. He's going to win this, you guys. The Pruno is, pr that's, I don't know though, man. I guess if, I was never really that desperate. I mean, because I just didn't do enough time. Like, it probably tastes like shit, right? It tastes like actual trash. Yeah. I've never had hooch or pruno that was good. And I, I've had people tell me, like, I can make it taste like wine. Like, Oh, man. It was so gross. But it works. <laughs> Ooh, it works. Let you know, I guess you. if it gets the job done, you know. I, I mean, I've it gets drank... the job done like you're past the F out or throwing up in the bathroom yeah. for three hours. I've drank some pretty, pretty ratchet stuff. Like, you know, we deployed and there would be people that, you know, people would get like shine and stuff sent over to them in care packages That's like strong. when we deployed yeah and there's some pretty like you know you dump a sprite bottle out and people would replace it with clear liquid not clear shine and i bring some i mean you can imagine what shine tastes like moonshine been, yeah i've been you know up in a you know liter of sprite in a care package like for a few weeks you know in the heat that has been traveling you can imagine Yuck. that you know but you know nothing says fun like drunk in a firefight so oh my god you how know? did you even survive oh man we were smashed out drunk one time when i got caught um this is like this whole video is like a side we're, got, we're way off the rails <laughs> no they're gonna like it um, we're we were random. we had gotten some shine some moonshine sent over and we were out probably doing like we were doing a little nothing whatever um we, we were set up on some some out in some field looking on where we thought there was some intelligence that there was guys you know I guess we'll call them bad guys for the sake of the video or whatever. Yeah. You know, somebody they thought was of high interest that was planning, you know, several operations within the, you know, the northern Iraq territory. And they, they, were, they had us out there spotting for it. And we were at night setting up and we just thought, oh, this is an opportunity to do nothing. You know what I mean? We'll keep an eye on this, this you know, it's, the south of the town was a little bit desolate. I mean, there's probably a million people in North Kirkuk, you know, so... We were down south and we thought, we'll just drink a little bit of shine. This is, we got it. We will take this opportunity to, to, to relax, do nothing. We don't really need to be like on our feet tonight. I guess some D bags that have like just come into the country from like, you know, Fort Lost in the Woods or whatever, you know, they, they, them and their commander that have been playing Call of Duty for the last six months that are qualified to shoot real guns now. Um, or, or like they catch somebody out like after curfew or whatever, stealing probably copper or whatever. And so these are, you know, these are regular old, you know, nobodies. And anyhow, in the army, in the army, I don't know what, the, I don't know what, how, I don't know who they belong to. They, they were, you not know, your guys. they were not our guys. Yeah, they were, there we go for sure. They were, they weren't the guys getting it done. And they didn't know because nobody knew that we were, you know, we were camped out in a hide, you know, basically spying out, you know, on, on an actual priority mission. And they take the opportunity to get these guys that are out after curfew, probably still in copper wire about to be responsible for a power outage somewhere and they start getting into a firefight across this field oh, no. and we're in we're field. in the middle of the field overlooking like this entire neighborhood and they don't know we're there and we don't have the frequency they're on and they get into like a firefight between 
like I said, the, these nobodies and these losers that we've deployed now that we've decided are combat ready because they oh, just graduated no. boot camp for whatever reason. And so we're like, we're drunk on this shot. <laughs> about to fucking soil ourselves and we're like hugging the ground like oh god and we can hear the bullets cracking like over us oh you know my god. and you can hear because because they pop and they pop coming from behind you and then they whistle coming back over so we could hear them you know we were just praying to god and fight you know you can't you can't scream out yeah. you know hey we're in the middle of this field nobody, nobody can hear you you know what i mean so yep. it finally dies down and you know the, the Iraqis or whatever, who you know, they were still, they, they get away anyway in their, in their getaway vehicle in this Toyota that's been discontinued for 20 years. They finally fly off into the nothing in the darkness. And we pop up finally, praying we're not going to get shot in the middle of the dark yeah. against these losers that are trying to scour across this field. And we're like, hey, you, didn't, you know, of course, we're probably, we smell like booze. <laughs> you know, we're like, thanks a lot. We were fucking sitting out here in the middle of this field for this entire, you know, firefight that you, Apparently got nobody on you. None of you were qualified to shoot fucking Iraqi soldiers because you missed terribly. Oh my god! Yeah, so I'd was, be so pissed. Yeah, so I'm, that was an interesting drum. But that that shot was probably tastes like Pruno. We just had a van like hella quick pull up in the driveway. Oh. Like I just saw him like fly in here. Oh man, I wonder what he's got. It's the turtles. It's the Ninja Turtles. Oh. <laughs> like SWAT team. I have a warrant. Why are they here? Oh, oh man, you know he's got an Amazon pack. We're taking that Amazon delivery serious. Okay. So, all right. Next one. Messy. She's messy. Yeah, she's messy. She leaves her stuff all over the place. No. She, she's, she's eating. Being she, messy. She, she's messy when like Riley eats her food. She's messy. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's got food on her face. No. Like she's starting drama. Like she's being messy. She's like gossiping oh. or chit chatting or like. Oh, you mean like all women everywhere? Okay. <laughs> she'd be a messy. Yeah. She'd be a messy. The shoe. You know your shoes. <laughs> No. Put put on your boots, your shoes. You really like, yeah, you put on your shoes. Like you get your boots. Yeah, so we're going we're going outside. Put your shoes on. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> no. It's segregation. Oh. It's another word for seg. Okay. How many How many, how many words are there for seg? Yeah. Many. <laughs> kind of like there's like a bunch of different synonyms for butthole apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is prison. <laughs> okay. This is an easy one. All right. Gay for the stay. Oh, see, this is a great topic because this is what you like to talk about, the women that are gay for this day. This is women that like to come in, I guess, or men. I guess it could be either way, right? Yes, either way. It happens in So this is a man or woman that decides to swing the other way, pitch for the other team, while they are locked up for the sake of either relationships companionship, or companionships sex. or, you know, or, you know, the little, little poke and stick or whatever we were talking about stick earlier. Stick and poke is tattoos. Stick and poke, yeah. <laughs> you know, so... Yeah, and then then they get out back on the street, and they're 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 not they're not they're not batting they're batting for the the, the, the other team now. They're back yeah. they're back they're back batting right handed. Right, so they're only gay while they're in prison. Okay, going in. I'm going in every night up in this up in the, the triangle. Oh, what? <laughs> no, breathe. Oh no. Going in. Going in. Um, going inside. Going inside. No. <laughs> okay. Uh. I, I got two soups. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, man. You can go in if you have a bag of chips. Do you have to raise your hand before you can go in? <laughs> <laughs> no. Going in is like cooking together, but you have to you have to bring a certain item. Like, oh, like kind of like, oh, all right. So I'm throwing in. Throwing in. Throwing in. I'm like, going in. Going okay. in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know this one. Dry snitching. Oh, yeah. We all know fucking people that dry snitch. Accidentally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like those people that humble brag, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're right up there with the dry snitches, you know? What's that SNL skit? What's her name? Oh, I invented air. Penelope. Every time you breathe, you'll be five cents. It's, yeah, it's Penelope who does <laughs> yeah. that. That's such Kristen a good Wig, skit. yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, the dry snitches. Yeah. I mean... It, Telling... I, wait, we have to tell... Some people might not know. Okay, um... Telling without realizing you're telling on somebody, yeah. you know, it was like an accident. it was an accident. I didn't know. I don't believe in that. I, I didn't know that you know I wasn't supposed to tell Officer John that Jessica has three soups in her in her purse. Oh, you can't fit a soup in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. I'm done with you. Uh, Jack Mac. All the felons just got nauseous when they heard it. <laughs> 
okay, it's when you put Cracker Jacks in your macaroni and cheese and you all go in and you, th you cook together with that. It's a horrible guess. I, just, I have no idea. Jack Mac is mackerel. It's in a hockey puck. It has like fibers. Oh, I can smell it Oh, right like now. mackerel like the fish. Mackerel like the fish, but it doesn't look like a fish. It looks like a hockey puck and it's disgusting and it smells like I can literally taste it right now. Yeah. Nasty. Awesome. Nasty. I mean, Jack fish, if you want to eat fish filet at McDonald's, why would you eat fish in, in the can, man? That's pretty rough. <clears throat> store. Yeah, you're going to the store, man. What? It, what is the store? You got to run down to the Jewel Osco. <laughs> I'm like 99.9% .9 sure inmates can't go to the Jewel Osco. So. Oh, well, they probably got a Walmart, you know? <laughs> yeah, they just go to the Walmart. Maybe, maybe go no. To the, to the PX. Yeah. They're just gonna let you out to go to the Walmart? Yeah, well, they probably take little trips, right? Like little field outings. <laughs> they rotate. <laughs> Store is commissary. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to commissary. Okay. Fun fact about prison they make you wait for fucking everything. Everything. Oh, everything. really? Really? Like the military. Yeah, so you hurry up and wait. That's you cool. stand in line and you wait for commissary. <clears throat> it sounds just like basic training in every other post I've ever At least been you on. You got paid. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <clears throat> Elbow. Want to bow to do the, it. Want to bow L. to the throat. Yeah. Doing an L. Elbow. Oh, man. <laughs> bow to the throat. A little bow to the throat, you know. You gotta watch. You gotta check your tone. Um. Oh gosh. Um. You know. This one's not dirty. So you're. So what you're saying is you're not playing Operation. You know. Um. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Elbow is a little life. A life sentence. You're, oh. going, you're doing an L. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In a life sentence. All right. <clears throat> jail. Isn't this kind of like a given? No. <laughs> so jail. When you're in prison, like you don't want to go to jail, bro. It sucks. <sighs> don't do it. Oh wow. This is um. This makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> no, I don't know. It makes perfect sense. So when you're in prison, you don't want to go to jail. Okay. Yeah. So like, kind of when I'm, you know, at the buffet, I don't want to go to dinner. So jail is another word for segregation. Oh, okay. So you don't want to go to jail. Don't go to jail. Uh, you know. Don't do it. It's kind of like another way of saying I don't want my butthole to get played with. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Pinner. Oh man. A pinner. A pinner. Is that like a man? A man with a really small penis? Oh my god. No. <laughs> and what is it? You really don't know what a pinner is? Okay, in junior high we used to call like the pinners like a little like a little joint that you could hide in a in a pen. Yes. Oh, is that it? That's it. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> little penis. Not in this house. Okay, so that's it. That's it. That's How did it. I do? You I think you lost, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I always tell him he loses. No, you did really good. You did really good for someone who's never been to prison. So, I feel like so, I'm I'm leaving out so a lot. So what of you're stuff. saying is I should I should make a couple passes. Take a vacation. I don't know. I could do a month. Maybe a month a, and a half. Could do a month in prison? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you're pretty big. It, you know, if there's a, if there's like a short timeline, almost anything's tolerable. You know what I mean? Yeah, and you, humans are very adaptable. You get yeah. used to it. And I think, you know, it's it's horrible. It's something you don't want I think it's like it's almost worse. Like, you know, if you're kind of like going to the county... And you don't know, like, don't am, know. I, am I going to get bailed out? Am I going to have to wait till there's court? I don't know what I'm going to get. Like, there's kind of an indecisive timeline. It's kind of like, you know, if I told you to do 25 push-ups, you would know what the end game is. Like, yeah. if I just told you to start doing them and didn't tell you we were going to get to 25, you would think it's going to... It, like, when is this going to end? Yeah, yeah. When is this going to end? Okay. So you did a really good job. Okay. We're going to end today's video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay sober, don't break the law because then you're definitely going to have to, you know, learn some of that slang. <laughs> Put something in your suitcase. <laughs> oh my God. Bye, you guys. See ya.